Welcome to this next episode of Random Euro Truck Simulator 2. Let's first of all find out um, where we're allocating the bonus point to, or the skill points I think it's called, between 1 to 6. Oh, it's going to the long distance one. So, oh, that's incredible. So we're currently at 1,500 kilometers maximum. That's now going to go up to 2,000 kilometers, right? That's going to be four out of six. There's only two left before we can go, before we become, yeah, two more, and we're going to be maximum. We could travel anywhere around the whole map. Wow. Okay. Uh, the second thing we're going to be doing is finding out where we're going to be picking up from, from which company. I've had a look, there are eight companies in Milano, where we're currently located. We're going to be going to company number eight. Let's get on with it. Right, so we're going to allocate the skill point. It was number two, which is long distance. Let's just check. Yeah, it's 20, so up to 2,000 kilometers. We're talking pretty big distances now. Um, and then the job market. Here in Milan, number eight, the last one. Um, Klagenfurt, is there another one? Yeah, it's a choice of two here. So it's either Klagenfurt which is 624 kilometers. Oh, actually, I've been to Klagenfurt early on in the early on in the series. So we could be going back there. 50% chance of that. Um, or we could be going to Slovakia to Bratislava. That's a longer journey via Klagenfurt um, and through over into Slovakia. So um, let's go time to get the job done So I don't know how far we're going. Oh, it's a long bloody way, 91 kilometers. Just to pick up, let's have a look on the map. That's the thing with Milan, it's so spread out. Um, all right. Okay, let's do it then. The two jobs will still be there. Turn left. At the roundabout, take the third exit. Exit now. Keep right, and then turn right. Turn right. Exit right. 
this is quite unusual. These gates. Feels like I'm in prison. Gates on both sides. Very, very tired. It's uh, it's 1:22 in the morning where I am at the moment. <laughs> I, I don't I don't fancy a trip to Bratislava, even though I do want to head east. That is where I want to be heading to in that direction. I'm just so tired. Um, I'm hoping we're going to get Klagenfurt, which is still a fair distance in itself. Looks like we might be at the airport here. The airport? Not sure. Milan Malpensa, is that the name of the airport I think? The main one? Maybe it's not the airport actually. Yeah, I don't think it is. Okay, so it's number one for Bratislava or two for Klagenfurt. They actually both go in the exact same direct, they're completely the, s the same routes, apart from the first one continues on to Bratislava. 
Um, okay. Okay, so it's between one and two, with one being Bratislava, two being Klagenfurt. Please, number two. I'm tired. <laughs> oh, God. We're going to Slovakia. Okay, let's take on the job. Time to get the job done. This is our um, second longest journey. The longest journey was our previous episode from Santander to Milan. So we, I wanted to get away from Spain and, well, I've managed that. I'm getting even further away from Spain now. Heading east. I'm happy to be heading to Bratislava. I just I particularly want to go there now. I'm just uh, I'm tired. But I kind of committed myself to playing this game every day for the time being. So it is what it is. At least it's less than a thousand kilometers. Um, I might be able to get it down even more. Let's have a look. Okay, so we're heading that way, um, over into Austria, yeah, I mean that seems the most logical way, doesn't it? I can't think of any shorter way. Um, Yeah, I think that's the one. Okay, so this is our most easternly destination. Well, it will be once we get there, if we get there. I have a rest stop on the way. I think once again we're going to be um, going through three countries. It's the Italy, where we are now, um, Austria, where we've already been previously, and on to Slovakia. So we've never actually done a journey that's taken in more than three countries. Three countries is our maximum so far. The three countries, we did a, we did a journey from, the first time we did it was from the UK. No, sorry. Yeah, from the UK to Belgium, obviously via France. Um, the last journey we did from Spain um, to Italy, also via France. And also um, from France to Sardinia in Italy on the ferry via Spain. So I believe this is our fourth journey, if I'm not mistaken, that goes through three countries. Now as this episode uh, series goes on, I am going to obviously lose track of things like that. Um, let's talk about Bratislava. I have been there. Uh, nice enough city, kind of. Oh, well, the, the old the old city, the main, the kind of <laughs> the touristy part. Um, so what did he say? He left, I think he said. Didn't he? I only stayed there for one night. Stayed at the Sheraton Hotel. That was very nice. Um, is it somewhere I'd highly recommend? No. Is it worth visiting? Yes, if you're in that region. I'm sure I'd want to go there specially. I can go out my way to go there. If you're in Vienna or traveling through, you know, from, uh, from Budapest to Prague, 
Why not? Stop over in Bratislava. Trying to work out which country Slovakia will be in terms of like, how many countries we visited. So let me try to work it out. Oh, okay. So the UK. Well, let's say England. Like right, England, France is two, Belgium is three. See, I'm going to start to lose track of this as well as the as the episodes go on. Uh, what did I say? Belgium is three. Uh, Germany's four. It doesn't have to be in the right order, as long as they get the countries right. Germany is four. Austria is five. Switzerland is six. Spain is seven. Italy is eight. Portugal is nine. Keep um, late. So I guess Slovakia will be country number ten. I don't think I've missed anywhere, have I?
the kind of echo sound you get when you drive through a tunnel. It's pretty cool. Uh, not very good driving, I guess my tiredness kicking in there. Where are we? This is Cappadocia. There's all these hot air balloons up there. It's the first time I've seen hot air balloons on the game, actually. Or at least in this um, series. I don't remember seeing them ever. I quite like driving along here for some reason. I mean, the date being the daytime helps. The scenery's alright. 
nothing spectacular but nice enough yellow fields and that nice buildings coming up on the right hand side yeah quite enjoying this motorway it's not often I say that This is a bloody nuisance though, these bloody toll booths. In Italy, they're all on the, like, the left hand side, so I've got to move over to the left, which is quite annoying, which you might have just seen there. actually thinking about pulling in there for a sleep just to get it out of the way um, I just want the stress of having to worry about it later on maybe I'll stop at the next one
I must say, this scenery is quite nice here. I quite like these Italian motorways. getting more scenic now, I guess more mountainous as we head towards Austria. Yeah, definitely more mountainous. That's weird, have we crossed the border? Are we actually in Austria now? It looked like it was the customs, the old customs area. Looks like the signposts have changed. But I, had, I didn't see a sign saying that we're in Austria. Or well, it didn't come up on the map. It looks like we are. So the signposts are completely different. Yeah, must be Austria. Strange. There we see some yellow. Oh geez, I forgot I need to sleep. I haven't come to anywhere yet. But yeah, there's the yellow road. Look at that. So we're going to be joining up with a road we've already discovered. Do need to get some sleep. I mean, it's ridiculous. There hasn't been a place for ages. Ah, oh, looks like there's one coming up here though. Right, that's good timing. Let's pull in. Oh, and there's one of those video things here as well. Yeah, two in one. At the roundabout, take the third exit. Exit now. I'll find a new route. Let's do the view whilst it's still light and then we'll park up, get some sleep. Right, so this is Vortasi. Oh, I think I missed this place last time. I remember driving past it. I was like, oh, I wish I'd stopped there. Well, now I've done it.
I were to see it was the same place in uh, Klagenfurt, I think. It must be the, the river. Yeah, nice enough. Not incredible, but quite nice. I mean, that's not a great view, is it? Not sure they really need to have one of these scenic points here. It's just a service station. <laughs> okay. Let's get some sleep. Where can I sleep here? It's got the sign there, but I can't. It's a bit weird. But if I park oh. like this. There we go. Perfect. Right, let's get out of here. What's that? Good burger. Coming up to the Klagenfurt turn off. Yeah, remember that, the airport. It was a long time ago when we came here. A lot's happened since. There's a turn off that we took. But we're going to be continuing, heading east.
There's another video thing there. Um, I wonder if I can... It looks like it's on the other side though. Am I going to be able to stop there? Uh, or is it on the other side? Could be a bit risky. Yeah, it looks like it's on the other side. I can't get to it. I'll stop there on the way back if I have to go the other way at some point. most of, uh, explored most of Austria I think. It's not a huge country. Um, yeah we've done east to west, well west to east, well 
We've been to Innsbruck, that's the most westernly city on the game in Austria, obviously not, not in real life. Um, I think the place we haven't been to or been on the road is to Salzburg, but other than that, I think we've done most of it. Oh, I say that though, there was those um, kind of like small mountainous roads that we haven't done actually. We've done, we've kind of done one of them. There was another one we haven't done. So, but the, the, we've done the bulk of Austria. So up to now, we've only driven in what I'm classing as like Western countries, Western European countries. Um, so going into Slovakia will be our first venture into, um, you know, the old communist um, bloc. I suppose like behind the Iron Curtain, if you like. But I mean, nowadays, Slovakia is very much Europe, European Union. They use the Euro as their currency. But it's a Slavic country. Um, so like it has Eastern routes, obviously. Um, right, let's make, get this correct though, before we... Anything else? Oh, you have to go right anyway. Right again. So yeah, Vienna is very, very close to Bratislava. I think you can um, cycle it like, along the Danube. No, is it the Danube? Or is that in a different river? Maybe the Danube's in Hungary. 
or whatever river it is. Maybe it's a dad, I don't know. But you could, I think you could cycle it. We, I did the journey by train, local train, from um, yeah Vienna to Bratislava. Doesn't take too long. You can travel by boat as well along the river. But I think, you know, if Vienna, Vienna and uh, Bratislava are worlds apart. Vienna is a really beautiful, quite elegant city. Areas of Bratislava, not so polished. <laughs> uh, very different history, different architecture. Different type of place. from Spain and Portugal now, especially Portugal. My God, when I think back to Faro, we weren't there that long ago. Oh, that must be a long journey from here to Faro. Keep left and exit right, what's the logic in that? Um, what's that border there? Is that... There's another border there. Country's that there. Must be a border with a different border with um, Austria just there. Must be.
this is the easiest one I've ever done. At least for like one that's just reverse into. Really easy. Nice. Right, let's have a look at the map. Oh, we've done over four percent of the map now. Look at that. Where's Spain? Where's Portugal? Oh, jeez, that's a long way. And good progress to get away from there. Right. Oh, that, yeah, that is a border there with Austria. Um, anyway. Let's go and get some sleep. We'll go here, it's the nearest one. Okay, here we go. Is a pro mod city. It's pretty generic. Not sure. Ooh. There we go. That's the episode finished. Thank you for watching.